Blessings all. Winter solstice 2014, uh, December 20th. Just taking a moment to reflect here from Colorado Springs, Colorado. This is um, what we're calling Red Rocks Canyon. I'm currently sitting on a rock formation formerly known to the tribe as, as Grandfather Rock. And the grandfather wisdom that comes through these rocks is really blessed and it stimulates sort of an ancient remembering of, of a deeper truth that has existed in these valleys for thousands of years. Uh, in the distance there, if you can see, there is Garden of the Gods. This sacred rock formation follows a similar ley line back into the Red Rock Canyon. And where I'm expressing myself from here uh, is in direct, direct alignment uh, along this, this spine, this rock spine. What is really being compelled forward in this time is, is a deep sense of reverence and a need to express that reverence in a public way. Uh, and a need to document this amazing awakening that is taking place among this, this next level generation. And as we open the portals of our own hearts, we start to channel through messages of a future, uh, a divine vision of what we can do with our time on this planet. And it is so sacred, it is so in alignment with the ancient immortal life force that has been at work uh, since the beginning. That life force is in fact working with us, uh, through us, that we continue that legacy of consciousness. And new sciences in permaculture, for example, that allow us to find space for our human needs to be met in conjunction with the, nat the needs of the natural world. Uh, how is how we treat the earth and how she responds to to our involvement here you know leaving this world a better place is is sort of the general meme or theme behind how we can describe it easily to ourselves but ultimately we're looking for that relationship in all aspects of of our life how we design our societies based on these earth-based principles um, how we can understand systems theories and see how the body works as a natural ecosystem that coordinates trillions upon trillions of cells with trillions upon trillions of functions simultaneously and that experience represents who I am. What we see is a fundamental shift in, in the way that we live, in the way that we harmonize with our environment as cells to this earth, which in fact we are. and that transition when we get that conceptually across the planet and we recognize that all of us are one body that the left hand does not fight the right hand for blood in our own system why should we as a planet be warring when our greatest capacity our greatest ability is to work together towards visions for a prosperous world visions for an abundant world where we work with the earth systems and allow her to provide us everything that we need, which is her natural design. And we do truly live in a new earth and a new time. 2015 is a date in time and record, but when we understand our system moving through the galactic system, what we recognize is we have entered the golden age again. We have returned to that place in the cosmos where floods of inspiration rush into the earth's atmosphere and we're able to draw from that inspiration and create with it what has not existed in the past was the recognition of the divine in the human form that we are in fact essence we are the source energy combined as these atomic modules we call the human body with these human thoughts that are very relevant to our experience yes we create our, our memories and to a certain extent our perceptions but ultimately what is at work is a consciousness that extends well beyond this human frame uh, this human concept this this idea that we carry around that that mind is in the head uh, mind is in fact the nature of reality consciousness intelligence is in fact the nature of reality and the human being is an antenna that taps into that consciousness and gives it back into the world 
My true self comes alive as I realize that I am an energetic being having a human experience. And this tangible world that I perceive through my five senses is only a fraction of the truth that exists all around us every moment without exception, without discrimination, that acts upon itself. And so at that point, who cares what the color of your skin is when you know the content of one's character exists in the energetic frequency that they bring into the world? In other words, are you a peaceful person or you walk around with anger on your heart? You know, those simple day-to-day -day decisions that we make on how to be in this world matter. And they matter because they have an energetic vibration that sends ripples out into our natural environment, whether we're aware of it or not. And so that's the new breakthrough, is that when we understand that we are energetic beings first, we can begin to give of that energetic frequency back to the world, back to the earth, allow it to, to take root, allow it to grow as our communities grow, as we develop human designs that have nature in mind, the triple bottom line, we start to recognize quite simply and quite easily how to be on this planet. There's a genetic code written in every person that when they connect with nature in a natural way is activated. And the activation of that intelligence is essentially the tuning of the frequency to realizing that divine intelligence is available to us always. The only separation is in the concept that we have with it, the relationship we have with it. It's a fundamental relationship with the human heart system, the energetic system that I am, that is similar and in fact the same one as the sun, and the same one as the core of our earth, that inner sun that exists in all of us. And so I perceive what I create and I create what I am. All there is is what is now. And this now moment, this beautiful experience of all the possibilities moving into a synchronized fashion where I can sit on this precipice and have this experience of freedom, of vitality, of, of cosmic flow and, and tuning into that universal sphere of, of wisdom that I can pull from and tuning down into the earth and grounding with these grandfather rocks and feeling the earth's wisdom move through me and her message that moves through me and the message that all nations need to unite within to know that we are earth that earth is self, I am earth. And so that cosmic connection, that global unity that will be established out of that admittance, out of that agreement that we can make as people, everything will change, everything. Everything will change. We will have a new offering of the true exchange of what it means to be a human being. We will have the true exchange with what it means to be a cosmic being, sharing energy as the, as the true exchange and circulation of our, of our human system. Realizing that money, as it's been designed currently, is the blood of our planet and there's certain organs that are hoarding that blood. And those organs are, in fact, tumors on the planet Earth. And she's asking us to cleanse of those tumors by no longer buying in to the systems that create devastation. It's obviously a, a major step forward from where we are today, but it's possible. And it's possible because all designs originate in the heart. They originate in the heart of the universe that we can tap into. And so the designs that we have currently were somebody's idea that we're enacting on. We are continuing to play out. All we need to do is replace that idea with a true idea of who we are, what we have available to us, and that world is created through us. We plant seeds with every, with every thought, every belief, every emotion that we radiate outward. 